How do you get environment variables? Aha. Uh -huh. So since we're using Netlify, uh, Netlify Dev to run our mm -hmm. run our site, because we need to use Netlify Dev to run our GraphQL uh, or well our serverless functions in development in general. Uh, one of the features of Netlify Dev is that it it will pull environment variables from your Netlify site. So what we can do is um, we can create a new Netlify site for this uh, for this project. Add our environment variables in there, off screen, of course. Interesting. Connect our local development environment to our Netlify, um, our Netlify deployment, and then okay. every time we run Netlify Dev, it'll pull in those environment variables and inject them into the build. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess we should do that. So, what I'm going to do is go to Netlify. Dom, what kind of Netlify dev stuff are you running into? Yeah, I was just about to ask that too. Yeah, I've uh, I've been using it for quite a while now, so I don't, I might I might be able to give you some. Okay. So how do I do this? How do I create a new site? Should we do it on your your team or on Apollo? Oh, I guess probably on the Apollo team, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I think we could do it here for now. Okay, yeah. So just go hit the green button on the right. Oh, new, new site, site from, from Git? Git? Yeah. Oh, right. And we'll just connect the repo that I have. Yeah. Oh, I think I have, like, only specific repos available. Oh. Uh, ba -boom. Hmm. All right, momentarily, I'll be back. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Dom, it, it's, it will spit out two or more endpoints. Um, it will, first of all, it'll, it'll host your net your, or your serverless functions at a particular port, like localhost port 34567. Um, it'll run your like local client code at, let's say for a Gatsby site, it's localhost uh, port 8000. Um, and, and the third thing that, that, that it, it spits out is, is like a, a, a port, uh, like a third port that kind of combines the two. So it will proxy port three, four, five, six, seven, your Lambda function to a specific path, namely, uh, .netlify slash functions, um, on port 888, 8,888. Uh, and then, and then it, it'll serve up your client code at the same port as well. So, the the implication of that is, you get to run your, um, you you know, you get to uh, send requests to just slash dot netlify slash functions slash your function name, which is the same behavior as you'd get in in production on a netlify deployment. So that's that's the the really really handy part is that the the URL that you send your your requests to locally will be the same as this as URL that you send your requests to in production, and because it's it's running off of the same origin, it's just at a, at a specific path on your site. You don't have to worry about any kind of cores um, cores issues there because you're you're. Um, you're sending requests from your origin to just another another path on your origin, so um, that that's that's kind of the the idea behind Netlify Dev is um, you have your Lambda stuff running at one port, your Gatsby stuff running at another port, and then a third port that mashes them both together. Um, and yeah, in my experience, that port has been eight 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 eight, but in your Netlify dev um, command line output, it should give you some indication of what port number that is. Um, and we can we can show you once we once we get this up and running, um, we'll I'll, I'll point it out in our uh, terminal output. It, it usually appears in like a in a box. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll I'll show you in a sec. Okay, All right, so... so this is our journey v2, and do you have the environment variables set up already? I do, I do. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, so now I guess we can go back to VS Code? 
go back to VS Code. And All right. um, before we run Netlify Dev, let's run Netlify Init. Yes. And um, why is this file changed? What did we change? Oh, that's right. You were like just typing hello. Okay. Netlify Init. Might ask you to log in. Oh, okay. So it should open that up on your computer. Beautiful. I love how cool. it didn't open on mine. <laughs> and now, uh, now that that's been granted, we can go back to VS Code and yeah, it'll it'll give us a, a series of prompts. So, first one, we want to connect this directory to an existing Netlify site. And yeah, let's find the find a yep. site based on the existing Git repo. That was easy. And that's it. Cool. And there's our site <laughs> URL, Journey V2. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, now, so... if you run Netlify Dev, you'll see some output here. It'll, it'll first thing it'll say is uh, injected build setting and var db connection connection string. Ooh, let me go back up. I missed that. <laughs> yeah, blink it. Oh, blinket there it was. Set. Oh, geez, Louise. That's pretty Almost cool, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Look and that. yeah, Dom. Now the the part.